hi you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is chica this is moments of peace a platform whereby we talk about topics that brings us peace of mind okay in case if you're just coming in contact with my video for the first time i would like you to subscribe to this um, youtube channel kindly subscribe and sub support my movement today which i'll be looking at interesting topic this topic is called or this topic is marriage is a project not a game of chance what brought about this topic so last month we were all aware of the death of popular nigerian female singer osinachi whose death whose death was attributed to domestic violence may her soul rest in peace it's something that actually pained almost every member of the society because nobody will hear that such a star or such a minister is gone and the person will be happy no she's gone and she's gone for life but what actually led to this topic is that many people we are seeing marriage from from the many people have due to her death many people have started seeing marriage from the wrong point of view not only her death not only her death there are many many cases many stories all snatches is the one we all know but there are many one many one so many started coming up on the platform on the media but the truth is that marriage is something you should not be scared of if you want to understand more of what I mean, I would like you to stay pure to the end of this video so that you understand what I'm talking about. So, how do you conquer domestic violence and how do you start seeing marriage from the right angle? First of all, you need to understand that marriage is not a game of chance. It's not, a, it's not like a game everybody must play. Do you understand? Start seeing marriage from another angle. Marriage is much more like a project. Do you understand? A project. And this type of project is a lifetime project. Do you get? A serious project. Let me take for instance a project every graduate is conversant with. Every graduate, before you graduate, you write a project during your final year. After your purpose, you, write, you are meant to write a project. And before you embark on a project, it's good you conduct a research so many research has to be done for you to come up with a project i'm talking about people that actually did write their project not people that do copy and paste do you understand and even if you want to do that copy and paste but i don't want to focus on that let me focus on people that actually did write their project for you before you start you need to get a project you need to be assigned a project supervisor do you understand so meaning that you need to invite someone who knows much more than you in the project and inviting a project supervisor you can invite the holy spirit you can invite god himself to come and have his way to come and be your project supervisor then you you set out for what a project topic do you understand you set out for a project topic this project topic could be the individual you're dealing with and you have to choose an interesting project topic something you know you are comfortable with you don't just pick a project topic because the name sounds good no you have to ask yourself have a personal interaction with yourself is this what i can really write on is this what i can really talk about same is marriage you don't just come out pick up a stranger and enter marriage with a person no you make inquiries you make research you study the person is this person that's a project topic that your spouse project topic is this something you can be able to write about is this something you can be able to embark on this project with do you understand this partner is this person am i compatible you that's where compatibility comes in can i tolerate her shit can i take his excesses can i swallow my pride and mellow and be submissive to this person do you understand can i respect this man can i respect this woman is it something is it a journey i can embark on with this person then you present it to your project supervisor 
because I believe you have so many project topics about two to three of them then your project supervisor both of you will now discuss and know the best one to select do you understand meaning there are some criteria you need to list out what you want and align it with what with as an uh, um, align it with your research it will help you to come out with something productive something tangible it will help you to connect with the right person you get it so when you see it from this angle you now see that marriage is a lifetime project the project doesn't stop or the assignment doesn't stop when you find the right partner you continue it's consistent it's consistent it's consistent <laughs> so it's consistent you have to apply consistency in it is something that keeps that keep going I found the person thanks be to God we have to keep working on ourselves we have to keep adjusting we have to keep adapting we have to keep amending building ourselves keep learning in life if you stop learning you die the day you stop learning is the day you sign your death warrant so that is life for you and marriage being a lifetime project you don't stop learning it's something you do every day you learn the person you change you adjust to accommodate the person anybody that tells you that you don't adjust or you don't learn the person is deceiving you do you understand so and in that project being that there are many things involved there are some things you look out for this this man can he change there are people that can never change for anything this man can he take advice can he can he consider my opinion this woman is she teachable can she amend some certain things do you understand it's not something you really need to live with someone for two ten years to be able to pick out to, excuse me to understand someone's personality sometimes maybe one or two or three there are some conversation there are some questions you ask to be able to analyze if this person is what embarking on this journey with you and you that have made up your mind to go on this journey you need to understand that is a journey that involves lots of sacrifice it entails lots of sacrifice but the sacrifices doesn't mean that your life have to be in line do you understand excuse me so why embarking or why looking out for it or searching for his spouse there are some things to look out for there are some signs you don't just overlook someone that is not teachable cannot just change within <laughs> within 24 hours cannot miracle will not happen on that person immediately and someone who is even teachable needs love patience and understanding for the person to unlearn and relearn do you understand so i am here to make you understand that marriage is not a cause it's not something that is bad it is good it is a beautiful thing you must not hear it from people that are married for you to understand if you have a, if you have a good relationship or if you understand your bible very well you will see that marriage is good it's a beautiful thing created by god himself so don't use because of people that doesn't really did their project research very well and come out and say that marriage is a scam that it's not worth it is worth it do you understand so i believe you're able to pick one or two things now believe me agree with you <laughs> agree with me that marriage is a project stop seeing it as a game or something that everybody's doing let me do no see it as a personal lifetime project then the project you take your time there is no time limit there is no time allotted to it you take your time make your research well search and ask yourself is this what i can do is this what i cannot do can i embark on it with this person am i comfortable with it 
If you are, go right on. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate the fact that you stayed cute to the end of this video. Thank you. In case if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel.